Hi, this is Aldo from uh, ExcelNinja.com. In this video we're going to talk about subtotals, how uh, the function subtotal can help you in analyzing, uh, for instance, sales trend and uh, summarize uh, in a much easier format. Let's start with the, uh, the range we're going to analyze. Here we have year 2010, 2011, 2012 and then we have the regions of your company north south east and west and we have the annual sales amount in millions of dollars so you might uh, be interested in showing uh, for instance uh, only the 2010 uh, subtotal or 2011 2012 or you can uh, show the subtotal by a uh, region how do we do that first of all we have a choice of selecting the entire range and then we go into data here on the ribbon you'll probably start from home you go into data and then you travel all the way to the right hand side and you see subtotal here what you do is you click on it and here gives you a series of options so it tells you basically it's gonna subtotal at each change in year region sales and then use the function sum uh, that's the uh, standard one, the default one. You can change it to count, average, max, mean, or product. I'll leave it for some at the moment. And then I'm saying add subtotal to the sales. I just want to add up the, the sales rather than year region because year region doesn't make any sense. Uh, and then you have um, a few more options. Oh, I'll click that off. And then you just click OK and this is what you end up having as you can see you have the same information as before but now you have a 2010 subtotal which is 35 which is the sum of those you have a 2011 subtotal the sum of those and a 2012 the sum of those and then you have a grand total the sum of everything all the uh, uh, yearly sales basically what I'd like you to notice is also uh, these one, two, three at the um, side of the spreadsheet. What this allows you to do is to, if you click on them, you can basically uh, collapse the various, the information to the level that you want. So if you click, say, one, it gives you just the grand total. Then you can expand. It brings you up the subtotal for a year, and then expand further and gives you the more more detail so this is an excellent way of uh, providing subtotals and being able then to choose which um, information you want probably say to print you can select just the years and then you can print that if that's what you want another way of using it which is really really useful is starting with the same information but what we're going to do now is filter them so we click on to filter still on the data ribbon and then filter and as you can see you have here some buttons that you can press and choose which years you want to select say for instance I want to say only 2012 2010 I click on 2010 I select it tick and there you go just shows me 2010 if I want to show them all select them all back to the beginning same with region same with sales you go all the sales values that you can select which ones you want uh, there's more you can do with the filters but for the purpose of today I'll just leave it at that what I want to show you is the subtotal function that this time we're gonna type into here in the row above and I'll show you in a minute why it's very useful especially when you have a lot of data so we type subtotal and here Excel um, tells basically what it needs. It needs a function number. So basically, it depends on uh, what you want subtotal by. Say we want to subtotal by sum. Again, we'll put in 9 here. And then we need to select the range. So we select the whole range that we want to subtotal. It's very important that you select the range when there's no filters applied otherwise it just messes up the whole thing so we close parentheses there and subtotal and that's the 115 that we already discovered over there 
why this is useful and very handy is because this basically does not uh, move um, so when you want to just quickly understand what the values are you don't have to especially if you have data that uh, basically takes uh, many many rows it's much easier to have it at the top and then we want to see okay let's see how the north region has done in the last three years we just select north and then what this does basically uh, shows only the columns the rows rather containing north and then the subtotal adds up only what is showing so 12 11 and 10 which is really really useful if you want to add another subtotal you might want to type the formula in there with maybe count or average or something like that or if you want to do select by year we can select say 2012 and there you go the subtotal is 41 which is the sum of those four uh, yearly revenues 